All right, what's up, guys? It's your boy Uzi here, and um, not gonna lie, there has been a lot of performance issues during the season, uh, especially with my PC when I first started playing. Coming back to Fortnite, um, I experienced a lot of like FPS stutters and stuff like that. So I was like, I was all over YouTube trying to find the best way to like fix this because I have a whole 3060. And I, like, I shouldn't have these kind of performance issues. So I was thinking. So then I thought it was just Fortnite. So this video is going to show you guys how to fix that issue. Um, I'm going to show you the best method that works for me. There's some people that show you methods and sometimes it really doesn't work. I try. I looked over like a lot of videos. But I'm just going to show you guys the best one for me. And what worked for me. Maybe it could work for you. Alright. Um, let's get into the video. Alright guys. Um... Like I told you in the beginning, for some reason in this season, there's a lot of FPS stutters, and I don't know why at all, to be honest. Um, let me show you guys the settings that you're supposed to already be running. Um, you don't really have to run this. I just, that's my personal preference, only because my 3D resolution is at 50. I try to get the best performance out of my um, PC possible. And if you want... If you want regular builds, just put that on medium and put your meshes high. And I'm going to show you guys um, how actually, for some reason, Direct X11 actually affects performance mode. It's really weird. I'm not going to lie. Um, there's, you know how in performance mode, there's settings that they just cut out. Now, in DirectX, for some reason, you gotta manually just, like, change the settings, because sometimes performance will just not turn them off. So, I'm gonna go to Direct 11, and I'm gonna see y'all back in Fortnite, alright? Alright, we're back into Fortnite. Oh my god, look how beautiful this looks. Oh my god. But, um, so, let's go into settings, and um, some of you might not have this option. I only have this option because I have a, a a good NVIDIA. Like, I think it goes to, like, 20, the 20 series and above, and you'll start getting the D, DLS S option. But, yeah, I have mine on performance. You can have it on balance quality. You see how it changes the 3D resolution? I just keep mine on performance. Make sure all of this are, like, all down. You don't want any of this. Uh, motion blur, you want that off, you want everything off. Latency markers, you want that off. Now, NVIDIA Reflex, I have this on on plus boost because I, it just feels a lot better for me. Um, some people feel better with it on off. I feel better with it on uh, on plus boost. You could try on. It's really what you, what it feels, feels the best for. I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, that's what you want to really check. Let's go back to performance. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a quick uh, way that helped me fix uh, my FPS studies and I'm gonna show you guys in Windows okay so I'll see you there alright so here we are we're in our Windows you want to search in uh, run and then do percent local at data then boom everything should pop up you want to go to your fortnite game saved config windows client and game user settings actually before you even do that you want to right click it go down to properties and you want to make sure uh you uncheck any of these then you would press apply okay then you would go in and you'll search for this, well, let me find it for you guys, right here, Balo, Balo Multi-Threaded Rendering. Some people need to put, will have this on false, and you need to put it to true. Me, I didn't have it at all, so I just typed it in my game user settings, and it helped me a lot. This setting by itself helps you like dramatically 
and then yeah you will just put that to true and then file and then you'll save and then you'll click out and then another tip I'm gonna show you guys quick tip free tip is press control shift escape go to your performance and you want to check your CPU uptime yeah, your CPU uptime and if that's at like um like anything above 10 hours and it's supposed to turn off whenever you turn off your PC and it should just reset the time but sometimes there's a setting that doesn't allow you to do this in your windows it won't turn off and you will be like overusing your CPU so whenever you turn off your PC your, everything should turn off but this setting doesn't allow it so I'm gonna show you guys how to do it it's helped me a lot as well so you want to go to power settings search up power additional power settings uh, choose what the power buttons do then you want to say change settings that are currently unavailable and you want to uncheck this you, you're gonna have it checked uncheck it save changes uh, reset your PC and you'll be good and that's what I really have all for you guys um, hope it really helps and yeah, peace out.